Hi, Aubrey. Thanks for sending your question. Um, well, the first thing that popped into my head when I first saw this diagram is that they are giving us two right triangles. So I'm thinking we should probably use them. Let's go ahead and extract them from the original diagram so that we can see more clearly what's going on. So we got this little right triangle up here. It looks like it has a big leg of 24. And since the sides of a parallelogram are congruent, it has a hypotenuse of 27. Then we have this big right triangle over here on the side. And it has a hypotenuse of 36. And it has a big leg of H. That's really going to help us a lot if we can prove that these two triangles are similar. And we can. Um, what we need to do is go ahead and sketch the parallel side to H over here so that we have this rectangle going on. And now the side of this parallelogram right here is the diagonal of this rectangle. Well, I know based on previous geometry that we learned, and probably you learned as well, that these two angles right here are actually congruent. So it looks like for my big triangle, that's this angle right here. And for my little triangle, that's also this angle right here. So since the sides of a triangle add up to 180, both of these do, and this angle is equal right here, and this angle is equal right here, then this angle must be equal too. So these are indeed similar triangles, and we're going to use that to solve the problem. So if we have similar triangles, the ratios of the sides are going to be equal. So 24 over 27 is going to be equal to H over 36. Let's go ahead and reduce this left-hand side. It looks like 24 and 27 have a 3 in common. So if I factor out a 3 from the top and bottom, I'm going to get 8 over 9 is equal to H over 36. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 36. And this side will clear out so we can get H by itself. And for this side, we have 36 times 8 over 9. Let's go ahead and extend that. Um, well, 36 has a factor of 9, so let's factor out a 9 from the top and factor out a 9 from the bottom. This will reduce to 1 on the bottom, and this will reduce to 4 on top. So what we actually have is 4 times 8 is equal to H, which is equal to 32, and that's your final answer. Thanks again for your question, Aubrey, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.